Welcome to the Classic Game Room review of Mario Kart Wii. Released in 2008, this is one of the flagship titles for the Wii, and one of the must-have games on that console. This might be my favorite Wii game that I've played to date. Definitely one of the most fun and technically rock-solid games. The design of the backgrounds and the whole environment is just stunning. I've always said that the Wii is a completely different animal when it comes to video game consoles than the competing PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. It doesn't have high definition graphics or optical audio or many of the fancy features the other consoles have, yet somehow Nintendo has managed to outsmart them with games like this. <laughs> The designers of this game have used the limitations and the strengths of the Wii in creating this game. Its cartoony style, its bright, colorful, high contrast imagery works well with the Wii graphics. Many games that are simply shoveled over to the Wii end up looking like bad Sega Dreamcast or PlayStation 1 games, not so with Mario Kart Wii. Games like this and Metroid Prime Corruption that were actually made by Nintendo are made specifically for the Wii and therefore they get it right. Also, the controls of this game are terrific. Many Wii games feel like the Wii controller and nunchuck controller are just tacked on as some kind of a marketing gimmick. This game feels as though it was designed with the Wii controller and the Wii wheel specifically in mind. The controls are terrific. <laughs> When you hit one of the jumps, if you jerk the Wii wheel upward, your character will do a little trick or flip in the air, and when you land, it gives you an added boost of speed. There's so much to the gameplay in this game. It's not just about driving the courses fast and driving skillfully, but it's also about collecting power-ups using offensive weapons and defensive weapons properly. There's just a lot going on in this game. And I swear if any game has replay value, it's this one. The music does does get to be a bit much at times, but you can always turn the volume down so it's not a big deal. I think after several hours of gameplay, it does start to feel like you're suffering from a hangover in Willy Wonka land, but at that point you just need to put down the Wii wheel and, and then go start blasting aliens or something in dead space. Go from one extreme to the other. I'll break this into a two-part review. In part one here, we'll look at the basics. In part two, some of the more advanced tracks and the online multiplayer which is one of the strengths of this game. If you're familiar with Mario Kart, I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. The series started out on the Super Nintendo back in uh, 1992 and has seen many releases on uh, the Nintendo 64, GameCube, and the handheld Nintendo game systems. You select one of the characters, you go through a number of races in the Grand Prix mode. There's also time trials, first and battle modes. My favorite was the Grand Prix. As you win the various races and circuits, you unlock different vehicles and characters, and the whole game is just terrific. I mean, it's, it, this is the kind of game you either like it or you don't, but as you know, I like games like Dead Space and Gran Turismo. So I'm kind of fanatical about technical quality and gameplay in video games, 
And Mario Kart Wii is at that same level of technical and gameplay perfection, even if it doesn't output in high definition. And nobody gets decapitated, incinerated, lit on fire, vaporized, machine gun shot, electrocuted, eaten by aliens, or shot into the vacuum of space, and I still like this game. Although characters do get shrunk and squashed. The replays in Mario Kart Wii are tremendous. The game suspends disbelief in such a fantastic way. It shows absolute mastery of video game design right here. Normally I'd choose a Nissan Skyline for a track like this. The courses in the game go from very simple, basic road courses all the way up to these... <laughs> I don't know what you call this. It's like eating a bowl of Fruit Loops while entering the monolith in 2001. And this track is hard. <laughs> My god, it's full of Japanese design. I found most of the gameplay once I got through the beginning levels to be fairly, fairly competitive and definitely interesting. So I feel that there's certainly enough replay value within the game itself, but then when you get into the actual online gameplay, that's when this thing really opens up. It starts challenging you when you're playing against people who have spent the last 15 years playing Mario Kart and know the tracks like the back of their hand. But we'll check that out in part two.